These are 22 mods that transform Minecraft into an epic adventure game. All the mods listed will add or improve upon various aspects of the game, encouraging you to explore a lot more. Every one of these mods are available for 1.19.2, and I've included all of them in a mod pack, link in the description. Now let's get started. Terralith is a good mod to start off this list as it makes some of the biggest changes, completely revamping the overworld terrain. With this mod you can stumble across many new biomes, some of which are vanilla enhancements, while others are a complete overhaul. You can use whatever terrain generation mod you like, but I think Terralith is the best one to encourage exploration. If you can, crank up your view distance as terrain created with this mod is especially stunning at higher render distances. Conveniently, this mod is also compatible with most structure generation mods, including all the ones I will be showcasing in this video. Next up, we have the End Remastered mod. Instead of overhauling the appearance of the end, like many mods, End Remastered changes how you get to the end. Instead of harvesting Eyes of Ender from Endermen, you now have to explore your world hunting down 16 different and unique eyes. Most can be found in chests and various structures such as the Rogue Eye, which is found in Jungle Temples, and the Cold Eye, which is found in Igloos. Other eyes can be found in different dimensions, dropped from different bosses, and more. Use these eyes like vanilla ones to lead you to the end portal. If you want to do even more exploration to get to the end, try the Lost Castle mod, which works with End Remastered. The Lost Castle is a massive, loot-filled structure that generates very rarely throughout your Minecraft world. You'll need to get a map from a journeyman cartographer to find this building. Just a warning, the castle typically generates very far from spawn. Like, very far. It took me a solid 20 minutes of flying to get to this one here. However, it's worth a track to get to this magnificent building. There's lots of good loot to find, sights to see, and most importantly, an end portal frame. Most of you have probably heard of the Waystones mod, and for good reason. The mod adds a simple teleportation mechanic which can be toggled using Waystones. These Waystones can be found in villages and in other structures, or you can make your own. Just keep in mind, teleportation only works between Waystones that have already been activated. When Dungeons Arise is a mod that adds absolutely massive dungeons to your world. They don't spawn very often, but when you come across one, it can easily take hours to explore the whole structure. What makes this mod so special to me is the sheer size of some of the structures added, and the wide diversity and appearance between them. The Dungeon Crawl mod adds dungeons very similar to the ones added by the Roguelike Dungeons mod that can be found throughout your world. You can access these dungeons through small buildings on the surface. The entire structure is a massive collection of tunnels, with better loot and more danger the deeper you go. With all these dangerous adventures to go on, the XP Tome mod is a great addition to this collection. No longer will you have to worry about losing your levels as long as you store them in this book. Simply squat and right click to store levels and right click to get them back. XP Tomes store a lot of levels and are also pretty cheap to craft, so I'm sure this will be a must have for many. Expanding the ancient cities, we have the Deeper and Darker mod, which allows you to travel to a new dimension called the Other Side. Harvest a Heart of the Deep from a Warden to light the portal. From there, you have a plethora of new biomes to explore and mobs to fight. Make sure to check out the Ancient Temple when you're there. It's surrounded by hostile mobs, but if you can get inside, there's some good loot to grab. Goblin Traders adds two little creatures that spawn in the overworld caves and the nether. Unlike the Wandering Trader, these goblins actually trade some useful items and blocks, some of which are really difficult to find or expensive to craft. Also unlike the Wandering Trader, Goblin Traders are not passive, so you might want to refrain from violence if the trades aren't that good. Choice Theorem's Overhauled Villages adds a wide selection of different types of villages of varying sizes that can be found just about anywhere. Jungle Villages, Beach Villages, and Dark Forest Villages are just a few of these. Vanilla Villages are not removed with this mod, so you should stumble across both types on your adventures. Young's Better Mineshafts make some amazing improvements to the mineshaft. Instead of just oak planks and fences with the occasional chest, mine shafts now come in multiple different biome-themed variants. In addition, each variant has much more detail with a wider block palette used and changes in size and shape of the tunnels. Some of these mine shafts also have a surface entrance, so they are easier to discover. 
To give your Minecraft world a breath of life, the Alex's Mobs mod adds many new passive, neutral, and hostile mobs found throughout all three vanilla dimensions. You may spot crows, eagles, and blue jays in forests, bears by rivers, gazelle and elephants in savannas, gorillas in jungles, and much more in the overworld, in addition to giant mosquitoes and flying worms in the other dimensions. Most impressively, all 89 mobs added have custom animations, have unique drops, and fulfill special purposes, so in other words, they are not just for aesthetics. The Insidium mod makes some extensive changes to the nether, increasing the world height and adding multiple new biomes and structures. All the biomes are vanilla friendly and are made out of vanilla blocks. The structures added vary widely and can be found in different biomes, most of which contain some pretty decent loot. Breezy adds hot air balloons to Minecraft, which can take you up to some impressive heights. Use flint and steel to raise the balloon, use sand to add sandbags to the balloon to lower it, and use shears to cut sandbags to go back up again. The balloon's direction is determined by the wind, which can be shown using a gust gauge. Towns and Towers adds quite a few different vanilla-based structures like villages and pillager towers to Minecraft. One of my favorites is the Mediterranean Village, which only generates in Terralith biomes. To make traveling less cumbersome, the Traveler's Backpack mod adds craftable backpacks, which can hold quite a bit of stuff. They can be worn on your back, put in your inventory, or placed on the ground. The backpack also has a built-in crafting table, liquid storage, tool slot, and bed. If you don't happen to have a backpack around to make a bed for you, you can use the Comforts mod to add sleeping bags and hammocks instead. Sleeping bags do not set your spawn point, which is useful if you are on adventures far from home, and the hammock lets you sleep through the day. If you would like to do some exploration beyond the overworld, nether, and end, the Blue Skies mod is a good addition. This mod adds two dimensions, the Everbright and Everdawn, which can be accessed through two different types of portals. These portals are found in the houses of a type of villager called the Gatekeeper. The Gatekeeper can sell you a book on these two types of dimensions, and a lighter to light either of the portals. Inside both, you can find many new biomes, tons of different creatures to fight, and multiple dungeons to explore, and bosses to fight. Just a heads up, this mod does not work very well with some shaders, like Makeup Ultra Fast, but I saw no issues with some shaders such as Complementary Reimagined and Sildur's Vibrant. Next up is Dungeons Plus, which adds 7 unique and special dungeons which can be found in different biomes and dimensions. Some are pretty simple to take control of, others have hidden secrets, and one even has compatibility with the Waystones mod. Simply Ships expands on the vanilla boats by adding the Cog and Brig. These small ships can be crafted out of multiple wood types and can be equipped with cannons. Raising and lowering the sail changes the ship's speed. Overall, this mod makes a great addition to this list. Awesome Dungeons is yet another mod that adds dungeons to your Minecraft world. The structures added vary in appearance, biome location, and size. Most of these dungeons have some pretty good loot inside, so it will be worth it to explore. Next is End's Phantasm, which makes some nice changes to the end. This mod doesn't make any drastic changes, simply improving upon the end islands. With this mod, you can come across a new creature called a Christie, a few new biomes, along with new food and tools that can be crafted. If you happen to want to play with these mods, but don't want to do the work to download all of them yourself, you're in luck. I've assembled all of these mods into a mod pack linked down below. Now if you would like to transform Minecraft into a zombie apocalypse next, with just 28 mods, I've made a video on that right here.